Hello everyone and welcome to a video on the Casio CTX3000 keyboard. And in this video I'm going to show you how to record a song into the song bank and then save it onto a USB stick like this one as a standard MIDI file. Um, I find that using the Casio is really useful as a quick sketch pad uh, because within a few seconds of turning the power on I've got a, an instrument, a piano or whatever instrument I select uh, at my fingertips and if I've got a, an idea for a song or a piece of music I'm, I'm ready to go and develop those ideas very very quickly, much quicker than if I'm loading up a piece of software on a, on a computer. So um, that's the advantage for me of the Casio over something a bit more sophisticated and of course once you've saved it as a standard MIDI file um, and loaded it into some software you can then develop your ideas further and what I like to do is to actually um, take those ideas further and create a score um, like I've got over here uh, which I can save as a PDF uh, for later use. So um, what I've done is I've created a piece of music and I was inspired with a couple of sounds together. So let's pick um, this modern electric grand piano sound. And I'm going to layer that with a harpsichord sound. And you can balance those sounds with the mixer. Um, if we go to Mixer and we make sure that we're on a keyboard and then we can hold down the mixer button and you can adjust the, vol the relative volume between those sounds. You can change the pan of each one and the reverb setting, chorus and so on. Uh, but uh, for the moment we're going to mainly focus on recording uh, into our song bank. So on the Casio we've got 10 user songs and we've got some preset songs. I'm going to select song number 10 and song number 10 here has already got some information recorded into it. Um, so I'm going to delete that and to delete a song you do a long press on the record stop button and you've got various options, song clear, track system clear or song copy and we're going to so uh, clear the song or delete the song. So now we're going to press enter, it says are you sure and then I say yes and that's complete. So now there are no numbers uh, underneath the uh, song here so this is completely blank and I can record uh, my ideas into this um, song as a bit of a scratch pad um, for an idea. So I'm going to record a few bars of this piece of music and then we'll save it as a MIDI file. Um, you can at this point select the sounds you want to do, uh, want to use, I've already done that. And you can also set your tempo and your metronome. So that's the speed I want to use, not 88. And let's go back to song bank. Now to record you do a short press on the record stop button. And if we start the metronome And then that will give us a clue as to the speed we're going to go at before we begin recording. And we're going to start recording now. And then we've, when we've finished we press stop. So now let's have a listen back to that and we use the play stop buttons over here. If 
that recording didn't go quite according to plan, remember we're just kind of creating an idea at the moment. We're not, um, we're going to do more development on the computer. But as I said earlier, this is more like a scratch pad for me. But if you wanted to do it again, let me just run through the clearing of the, the track. So you do a, a long press here for song clear. Uh, press enter. It says sure. You say yes. And then, then that's gone. And then to record is a short press here. And we can start the metronome running. And we can record. And then stop to stop the recording and then play and stop or start and stop over here to listen back. Okay, so there's my little scratched idea that I want to develop further. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save it onto the USB stick and on the back of the keyboard um, is where it goes in. So let's do that. And then if you press the function button and then use your left and right arrows and get to media and then press enter You'll have to wait a few moments uh, while it says mounting. It depends how much data you've got on the USB um, drive already. Um, so it, I, in my case, it's going to take a little bit of time because there's quite a lot of data already there. And then eventually you should see the word load come up and there are various functions um, you can do. You can load, you can save, delete and rename and format. And then we're back to load again, just using the one and three buttons, the left and right arrows. So we want to save and on your screen, on the, on the display, you should see enter. Um, it helps if you look at the screen because that's kind of giving you clues which buttons to press. So if you forget, so it says enter. So I'm going to press enter and now you've got various um, things that you can save. You could save a tone or a rhythm or a multi-track recording. Um, I don't want to record a multi-track recording because that's a Casio format. I want to save a standard MIDI file, so multi-track recording SMF. So again it still says enter, so we press enter and then it selects you can select which one you want to save. It's on the one we want to save. So we press enter again. And at this point you can rename it. You can't name a song, a user's song that's stored inside the machine, but you can save with new names. You can rename um, a song that you're saving onto the USB stick. So I'm just going to delete most of these characters and then I'm just going to give it a, um, a title. The title of this um, piece is going to be called Wise Word, so I'll just call it Word for the moment. So there's a W. Use the left and right arrows to move along. To insert a new character, press number eight or insert, and then you can scroll and find the, the, re the letters and characters that you want. Insert again. move along the line, press insert and that's it. And again it still says enter on the screen so now I'm going to press enter. It says are you sure and you say yes and then it's saving um, as a standard MIDI file um, the recording, the little scratched um, idea that I uh, created a few moments ago. That's now saved on the USB stick. So now you've got it as a standard MIDI file. You can take that into your computer, load it into your software. 
if you're doing um, sequencing with a digital audio workstation, then you can uh, import a MIDI file. But I'm going to, to be um, using this to create the score um, that I want to produce. So let's take a look at the software. OK, so now I've put the USB drive into my computer and these are the, some of the folders and files that are on that drive and you're looking for a folder that says Music Dat. So let's open that folder and we're looking for the file that says Word. That's the name of the file uh, that we created when uh, we recorded into the CTX. And I'm just going to drag and save it into another folder uh, but this folder is on my uh, PC and now I've got a copy of it on my PC. So now what we're going to do uh, for the purposes of this video is to take that MIDI file and load it into um, a piece of uh, notation software and I use a program called Dorico. Uh, but you can use any other software as well that does a similar kind of job. And again, I'm not going to show you great details of how to do this, um, but we're going to import that file here into uh, Dorico. So let's find the folder. I created a MIDI files folder. There's the file there called Word. We're going to open it. And you've got a few settings you can uh, adjust here, but I'm just leaving them as they're already set. And then click OK. And this is what Dorico produces, um, a score of my playing uh, that I recorded. And it's got a couple of uh, extra bars. I can do some editing on this. I can delete those blank bars at the beginning. And obviously here I can start to extend the composition from my initial idea that I recorded on the CTX and tidy up the score and that sort of thing. And if you do that, um, which I've already done, um, you can end up with a score that looks like this. So this is my final score. Let's have a little listen to a few bars of this. Now the sounds don't sound the same as the CTX because obviously we're dealing with a MIDI file that we've imported into a piece of software that's using its own set of sounds. Uh, but for my purposes I'm not really too bothered about that, I'm just uh, more interested in trying to create a score. Uh, if you don't use Dorico and you use something else then that's it's, it'll work in pretty much the same way. Um, and there is a piece of software that's actually available for free. Uh, which is called Muse or Muse Score. So let's load that software. And what you can do here is actually just drag and drop that MIDI file straight into Muse. And again, you can see kind of the score that it creates. Um, it's actually created two parts and it's labeled those as well. The, uh, the tempo isn't the same, but we can adjust that. Um. And we can do various other editing functions with it, obviously to make it a bit more um, readable for publication. Anyway, uh, without going into too much detail much further. I hope that's given you a, a sort of idea of how to take an initial idea that you create uh, using the keyboard, using the Casio, uh, recording and saving a MIDI file and then importing that into a piece of notation software. So thanks for watching.